Hey everybody. Sure, and you look so much different. Yeah, I've got these ears like Yoda. <laughs> hey guys. You hey guys. Little Bella B here. A little Bella. A little she, Joy. She is so precious. She is such a sweet companion in our family. Um, <laughs> she has us wrapped around her paws. Yeah. We're, yeah. She's, she's, if she was my grandchild, she's got me totally wrapped around her four paws. Yep. <laughs> Anyway, guys, we've been thinking of you, and uh, we're way overdue for a video. So we want, want to um, take this opportunity to say hello and let you guys know that we're thinking about you guys. Um, life has been really good for us. But, yeah. You know, not without its challenges, but... It would we, be life without challenges, would it not? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, so we want to take this opportunity to say hello and let you know we love you guys and think about you. Um, in our, within our own lives, with our relationship with God, our relationship with each other. Right. Uh, as we just travel the road of life, we, we find ourselves just more and more at ease and, and comfort uh, with, um, with life in general. And our, our watchtower indoctrination has stolen so very much from us <laughs> um, over the years. Yes. And Bella agrees. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> it, it has. <laughs> I couldn't have said Listen that better. Listen to even a doll can understand that. <laughs> and, yes. And when when you've had so much stolen from you, you don't you don't want to waste a whole lot more time, kind of looking at the road behind as much as you do, just putting your energy, focus, and efforts into um, what lies ahead. And so, unfortunately, one of the side effects of that is we've done less videos, but. Um, <laughs> We are hoping <laughs> to maybe get back on track and again, just to, to reach out to you guys uh, to be supportive in whatever way that we can. Dog hair, sorry. To, um, to let you know you're not alone, whether you're Pimo or um, faded or disfellowshipped or still in, and you're just curious what do uh, former Jehovah's Witnesses have to say about their life experience within Watchtower and. Once you step away, what is life like afterwards? And um, we we um, still have zero regrets, <laughs> except for the, the the years wasted. But um, from a uh, comfort with life perspective, we both sleep very well at night. We're um, we're at ease in a relationship with God. It's a it's a relationship based on unconditional love insecurity that whether we're just doing the, the very best what we can or we slip up and make mistakes nothing I mean absolutely nothing stops us from being a child of God nothing Amen. separates us from God Amen. once you accept Jesus to be your Lord and Savior that is an unconditional unbreakable relationship and I can honestly say as a Jehovah's Witnesses I never had that in heart relationship with God mm -hmm. as I do now yeah. and it's a peace it is a peace having that relationship with God based in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 through 8 that it's a peace that passes surpasses all things um, it truly is a peace in your inner bones so to speak mm -hmm. and that's within you your spirit so to speak um, never had that as a Jehovah's right. Witness yeah. never yeah, it was always that maybe if I do enough, put in enough hours, attend all the meetings, obey all the rules. Pioneer. Maybe. Raise my hand. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll be spared. Uh, and, and sometimes, honestly, and I'm sure this is a thought that many of us can relate, I think that for a lot of us, we actually hope that we'd pass away. Yeah. Yes. Accident, oh. natural causes, whatever, before Armageddon came, just because there was that dark cloud of uncertainty that watchtower wanted us all to go through life with. And um, that dark cloud is completely gone, distant yeah. memory, way back there. Yeah. And, uh, and so um, once you're comfortable and secure in a relationship with God, um, there, that worry is gone. Yeah. And uh, just a, pe a feeling of peace and security and love replaces it. And um, I hope, sincerely hope with all our heart, and I know I speak for Sharon too, that we hope that you all individually learn about that peace that comes with a truly one-on-one -on -one relationship with God to learn about the gospel and this is Christmas right this is the time of year that we celebrate the miracle of God taking on flesh entering the world living among us 
giving his life, dying upon a cross, being death, uh, dying, being buried and resurrected to immortal life, and all with the sole purpose of reuniting man who had broken that relationship to reunite God and man in a, um, in a holy condition that is eternal, to be eternally with him. And um, the miracle of the birth of Jesus is what set that process in motion. We celebrate that. Right, right, definitely. Absolutely. It's not a piece that you can get through man, an organization, right. affiliation with anything other than God himself. Absolutely. He's your judge, and on that time when you meet him, they're not going to look at the organization and go, oh, did she comment? Did she put in 10 hours of field service? Did she do this? As if God doesn't know already. Right. So you need God. You don't need man yeah. for your salvation. You need God, not an organization. Absolutely. Um, uh, Sharon's uh, been c considering some, a spiritual topic that she wanted to share with you guys as possibly a topic for our next video and that's going to be taken from first corinthians chapter two yeah and then if you want to understand who they're talking about in first corinthians chapter two you can look at acts chapter five i'm not going to give away the 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 goodies of it but um, as a jehovah's witness once i began to wake begin to wake up i realized oh wow oh my goodness um and I won't give away the goodies, just do the research, pray to God for the Holy Spirit to guide you, uh, ask him to help you to understand God's word, and then we'll discuss that more in detail. But I do have one real quick thing to share. It's a good thing. Okay. Um, well, unfortunately, uh, there's five kids, and our oldest brother had passed on the 14th of November, or 13th of November. So I flew up north, I attended the funeral, and got to see a lot of family I hadn't seen in years, cousins, 30, 40 years. Um, but the second the oldest, my brother, I did not know that he is a believer. So we were just talking in general, and he said, you know, I asked Michael, unfortunately the one who passed, he said, oh, Sharon sent me a Christmas card. Michael <laughs> says, yep, yeah, she's not a Jehovah's Witness no more. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, <laughs> yeah. So we got to share our experience on that, and he said he woke up years ago as he was reading their literature. He says it did not make sense when it come to the Bible. So he put all that literature aside. He starts searching for God's Word and the Bible only. So we were talking, he says, yeah, it doesn't make sense. God and Christianity, thousands of years has been around. Jehovah's Witness has not been around that length of time. Why would God hold that precious, if he, since he loves you so dearly, why would he hold thousands of years, thousands of years of information from you and then in 1874 just decided to, to deliver it through a man? Yeah. So we got to share um, a lot of good stuff, talked, cried, and uh, it, was, it was a great thing. I was just, he was excited I was a believer. I'm excited he's a believer, and um, we'll just go from there. Absolutely. Yep, so um, we know that for uh, many of you, the indoctrination of Watchtower and all the, um, the negativity associated with Christmas uh, may hinder you from um, doing anything uh, to celebrate the season, right? So I encourage you to do your research um, to really think about what it is that we are celebrating. Um, and let your conscience be your guide. If, if something um, is against your conscience and you feel like, you're not serving God faithfully through doing it, then you should abstain, right? But if you've done your research and you feel, hey, I can honor God through this, I can use the season of the miracle of Jesus' birth as an opportunity to share God, to share the gospel, to reach people with the word of God and that importance of a relationship with God, then that's something to celebrate and to work toward and something that you can do with a clean conscience before yeah. God. So. Um, with that in mind, we want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Definitely. Merry Christmas to everybody. Absolutely. We wish you good health, um, good year. Um, celebrate the time you have with your friends, your family, making um, new relationships and reestablishing old ones. Let the people around you know how much you love them. And um, that's a reflection of God's love in our lives. So with that, we're going to say goodbye. Goodbye, love to everybody. Wish you the best for next year as well. Yep. Hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Wait, right. your heart is lopsided. Let's go like this, <laughs> right? Heart's not lopsided. Okay, no collapsed ventricles no. today. No, want to be centered in the heart, not cockeyed. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care.
Goodbye. Blessings. See you soon. Bye.